We're just going over a few things with this solar eclipse that's in 2017. And that's what this is mostly going to be. You know, you, you get to looking at, like I just typed in rent for space here on Bing. And this event's what, going to be a little over two minutes. I've seen spaces for up to $1,000 for a space for a tent now. What's included in that, I don't know. It was just a little thing on the TV that I saw. Most things, however, are roughly about $100. This one goes a little above and beyond. For $1,000, you can sleep on Three people can take the couch in my living room. $1,000 a night. So, there's one. Now, it's just one of many, but there's all kinds of spaces for rent. There's at least five pages of the narrow to go more. Then you have the glasses. And, you know, here's 1995 at Walmart, 1159, 1043. Some say all this is safe, some say they're not. Some say a welding helmet, which brings a whole new thing apart. They say that you'll be able to see the plants because of the complete blackness if you're underneath the part where the moon goes. I have welded helmets. How are you supposed to slip through there, even with a welding helmet on that dark, and see anything uh, aside from the corona that'll come around it? Uh, <laughs> and what are approved by NASA? Here, these three ladies are just, oh, God, they're having the time of their life. And there's no time. How much money it's spent, that they've spent, for two, a little over two minutes. Um, it happens August 21st. And Monday, there's places out of school for this crap. I mean, little things of, how to view it, what to look for. You got all these professionals telling you all this stuff. The solar eclipses are cool, don't get me wrong. They're not a huge event. That's got to be the most comical thing. Along with NASA. After this, uh, I've seen all these predictions that are online, especially YouTube is full of them. I'm going to give you mine. Being a Christian, I kind of take somewhat an insult when I see other people that are supposed to be Christian making predictions of the end and this, that, and the other, and time framing it all that but you know it's kind of important it's actually very important to know exactly what jesus did say so let's hear it and by thy words thou shalt be condemned then certain of the scribes and of the pharisees answered saying master we would see a sign from thee but he answered and said unto them an evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign and there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation, and shall condemn it, because they repented at the preaching of Jonas. And behold, a greater than Jonas is here. The queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with this generation, and shall condemn it. For she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits, more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there. 
And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. Now, from that we get that, you know, he's saying an evil generation seeking this sign. These photographs of the alleged rapture that comes pre-trib, I used to ascribe to that, but I no longer do. But even if you do, that's not biblical. All, when they, these pictures of all these people looking up and seeing Jesus and his angels coming in the air and they're all cheering, they're all joy. That is fiction. It's just like the Left Behind series is fiction. It's not biblically based. Uh, but anyway, we'll take a look at what some of the other Christians, supposedly, and prophets, allegedly, have said. And there also be some, you know, New Age and just some people, uh, strange people, that seem to be just plumb up in arms about this eclipse. This eclipse is normal. And this is not the first eclipse in a hundred years, like some places say. I watched a video the other day, and the guy had a confirmation. And he was showing it, I guess, just to give people more knowledge about it. But I'd say he himself never once listened with a discerning ear what was being said. There was a couple, maybe three, that said this is the first eclipse in a hundred years. And then you get some people and say, well, one or two said first eclipse in 40 years. And these were all professionals, mind you. Then another one says 30-something years. You can go back and look, and that's what the powers that be, they do not count on you looking. I mean, I can remember some type of eclipse when I was in grade school. Granted, that was in the 60s. 70s at the very latest. But I remember us all looking out the window and seeing it. Nobody told us they couldn't look at it. I mean, they did, but they didn't make it a point. But then in 1979, there's a series of eclipses that's happened. But they figure you will not look. That's the whole thing. Um, they figure you're not smart enough to look, in part. So we're going to do a little picture and then we'll do the last take on this and then uh, I'll give you my prediction. Okay, so this is the part about predictions. You know, you can type in on YouTube, Solar Eclipse 2017 Predictions. Uh, I can't say that I know really any of these people. Some of them are new agey, duh. And here's a safety briefing. You got all kinds of people. But what really bothers me is when the Christians start in, because that makes us all look bad. It makes us all look stupid. We wonder why we get attacked. I mean, you open the door to it, it's going to happen. And I don't mean open the doors in a I'm trying to warn the world. I mean, open the door is in. I'm trying to make a news from myself. You know, that, I'm trying to, whatever. Even if you could scare somebody into getting saved, are they really saved? No. More than likely not. I mean, anything you make everybody else look bad you make everybody else look like really doesn't matter uh, like and some of the people even say they're a prophet from God I've seen that on here uh, if you're a prophet from God I'm going to give you that will be part of my little prediction myself so you know, you look at all this, and uh, 
while you're watching this and you're so obsessed with the those of you that are uh, with the solar eclipse you need to really ask yourself one huge question while you're distracted watching this what's going on behind your back I mean really what is the government doing or big business what are they hiding what do they want you not to look at what do they want you not to see uh, there's a whole world out there there's a whole world going on and a whole lot more important than the sun going dark for two minutes you know you you can get on here and look and it'll tell you what's happening more um, there's different places and I mean really that's what you need to be considering okay last part of it I heard and I don't know which one it is but another big time youtuber they get a lot, a lot of people looking at them. And every video they put up gets quite a bit. And they're quoting from the book of Revelation about a, the uh, sun as black as Savkov. So I, I'm not a firm believer in reading one or two pieces of scripture because you have to take things in context. And that's the reason why I went a little longer with the other one. And the other one, however, also... For those that wasn't, you might not have noticed, um, it also talks about a demon being in a man, and if you exercise the demon out, it goes away. It comes back with seven more, each more powerful than the one you cast out. That's provided you leave a door open for it, but that's another story. But as far as the sackcloth goes, this is going to come up. Um, verse 12 and these are in chronological order the, I mean this has got to happen this way this isn't wow God decided to make the most sign of that call rest of it he'll do later so have a listen then after it's over I'll tell you what I think it's going to happen Revelation 6 and I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death. And hell followed with him, and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beast of the earth. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, 
and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind, and the heaven departed as a scroll when it was rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places, and the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man hid themselves in the dens, and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Okay. As you can see, all this other has to come to pass before verse 12. And this is all about the same time, too. Whether it's a day or a month or a year or a thousand years, I don't know. I do know the other stuff hasn't happened yet. Um... I do want to bring attention to this as a, right there, as a fig tree. I've heard a lot of people, including the game show uh, Bible Trivia, said that a fig tree casting its figs was a sign of the end of times. No, as a, it's metaphorically speaking, trying to give you an ideal, metaphorically. Um, as for heaveners, you know, that's a whole new subject. But this right here, every mountain and island were moved to other places. I will say this. That very well could be um, not magnetic pole shift, but the actual pole shift. Whereas the land masses itself move around. I thought of this too when I read that a long time ago. They hid themselves in mount in the rocks in the mountains. Well, if you look up dumb D period U period D is a U M period B period. It's deep underground military bases. You will be amazed how many of those have been built. But apparently, that ain't going to work either. So anyway. Don't listen to the fear mongers and don't get so sidetracked in this event that you don't watch what you really need to be watching, that you, I guess, remain vigilant. As for my predictions, and no, I'm not a prophet from God, I'm not even a great Christian. I mean, I'm, I try to be, but they don't always work. But I'm going to tell you my predictions. And I bet you I'm right on the money. It will come an eclipse. We're going to have one. And it's going to crisscross in the manner that they say. Whether you can see it or not from the weather, I don't know. We got a weatherman that says it's not going to rain. It's raining. You know, they got to where they can't predict a winner in a one horse race. So. I predict that it's going to happen. I predict that there's going to be a lot of people spend a lot of money that they probably don't have on a little over two minute event. And if they don't feel stupid by the time it's over, you can't think stupid. Uh, it is cool. It's a neat thing to see. But I hope if we take anything from this, oh, and I depend, I, and I predict it'll get right back light again. There. That's my predictions. We will have an eclipse. It will get dark. People will be fleeced. And it'll get back light. Then all this crap that they've slid through while you've been prefixed on this fiasco will be in power and in place. You know, the best way to control evil power is to not grant it to start with. Uh, we look back in time and, you know, the movie Apocalypto, which was a great movie. When the sun darkens, 
and the Aztec go, oh, this, you know, this, the sun god, he's appeased now, the corn will grow. So they quit with the cutting hearts out. We see all kinds of stuff like that of people back many, many years ago. How they freaked out on, you know, eclipses and we, we laugh and we go, wow, how can those people be so stupid? That a natural event would just scare them like that. How can they be so stupid? Have you looked around? It's, if you go on YouTube, there's fear mongering everywhere. It's even on the web. So, you know, if you want to listen to these people, I told you, I did tell you, these people that say that they're prophets from God, or they've been talked to by God. Um, you can tell that real quick. And the way you tell that is you write down what they say. You write down their predictions or forecasts. If it is from the one true God, they will be 100% correct 100% of the time. Anything less, they're getting their information from the wrong God, the small g God. And so I hope you have fun at the eclipse or whatever you're planning on doing me. I'll look at it on the tube. Um, I'll continue to do whatever it is I need to be doing that day. So that's about it. Hopefully nobody got pissed off over that or their feelings hurt. If you did, boobs.